Hello, hello, my name is Masha Nuts, and today I'm going to do the 24 hour bracelet challenge. That is to see how many bracelets I can actually make in 24 hours. Except I'm not choosing easy bracelets. Some of them aren't too difficult, but some of them are. <laughs> So we'll see how this goes. I've already done this challenge once before, except the first time I did it, I ran into so many issues because I was filming it during March of 2020, right when COVID hit and lockdown started and life was just unpredictable. I ended up filming it across two countries, which was a fun time. So if you wanna watch that video, that video will be linked in the card and in the description, but I am attempting it again and hopefully nothing goes wrong this time. I'm doing the challenge a little bit differently. I'm gonna see how many braces I can make in 24 hours, but not within the same 24 hours. In fact, I'm gonna give myself the weekend to complete this challenge. It is currently the evening of a Friday. I'm filming this right after work and I'm gonna start this now and I'm gonna see how many braces I can make until the end of the weekend and then some it will be 24 hours. So I'm gonna set myself a timer for 24 hours. Every time I sit down to make a brace, I'm gonna start that timer, see how much time has passed. I'm gonna be doing it in multiple hour long sittings. Usually that's how long I spend making braces anyway if I have free time. And hopefully I'll be able to get this done by the weekend. So I've already started the bracelets that I wanna make. In fact, all of the bracelets I'm going to be finishing today are bracelets that I'm filming either for a tutorial or for a knot with me. So all of these bracelets are started. I started them in a recent vlog, which if you wanna watch, I will also link in the card and in the description, you can see me sort of pick out the patterns and get ready for this challenge. And also obviously all of these are gonna be either tutorials or not with me's, which I will explain as I'm going along, but I'm very excited. <laughs> that was a very long intro, I apologize, but I'm about to make it a little bit longer. I wrote a book, it's called The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets and it comes out on August 23rd in the US and about a month later everywhere else and it's available for pre-order now. You can pre-order the book wherever you typically buy books. And if you do pre-order, make sure to submit a screenshot of your order number to my publisher at rockynock.com slash friendship to be entered to win in the giveaway. The giveaway has some really cool prizes and you can see them in my announcement video for the book, which will be linked in the card and in the description. If you purchase the book directly from my publisher at rockynook.com, you can get the paper book and ebook as a bundle and all the paper books published directly through my publisher will be the first to ship out. I'm very excited for this to come out and so I'm sharing it with you guys. I hope you enjoy it as well. All right, I'm very keen to actually get this started. So let's have a look at the bracelets first and then we're gonna head into the 24 hour bracelet challenge. All right, time to get to know the bracelets. I only have five bracelets here. And honestly, I don't know if that's underestimating or overestimating myself. Some of these are quite small, but there is one, specifically this one, which is quite big. And this one is probably the one I am excited about the most because I've been wanting to make this pattern for forever and I finally have the chance. All of these patterns are gonna be linked in the description, by the way, if you wanna try these as well, or if you wanna nod along. Or maybe you wanna try the 24 hour bracelet challenge yourself. I'm very down for that, by the way. Tag me if you do. Anyway, very excited for this one. This is gonna be a knot with me. Probably the one I'm most excited about just because of how long this bracelet was on my to-do list. And also like, I just started this one. There is obviously a little bit of it made, but I just started enough of it so that it's not a pain. Like I, I hate connecting the triangle ends and all of that. And I didn't want to film that. I wanted to do that off camera. So that's why this one's kind of started already. This one is such a cute one. I also such a summery one. I love the color combination for this one, but this one is like a mini chevron. I filmed a tutorial for this one. So I don't have a name for it yet, but yeah, I think it's really cute. It also only has two repeating rows, hence why I only made two rows for this. Those were the two rows that I filmed for the tutorial. But yeah, this one is relatively small, so this one shouldn't take me long to do at all. Same for this one. There's only two repeating rows. It's very simple, but oh my God, I love the gradient. It's so fun. And I'm hoping this one turns out cute because my God, the pattern is adorable. I'm very excited for this one. This one is the next one. I love this pattern. Obviously a little bit more of this one has been made, but that's because that's what you need to do in order to repeat the pattern. So this was all part of the tutorial. We've got a lot of candy stripe rows here. So this should be really easy and simple to create. Let's see how long that takes me. And then finally, we've got the one that's currently attached to my desk. This one is going to be a knot with me. It was originally supposed to be a tutorial, but then I tried looking at the pattern. It was like 34 steps and I was like, yeah, let's maybe do a knot with me instead. So this is gonna be like a sunflower bracelet. So that's really cute. So yeah, I've got five bracelets to make. I, again, don't know if this is overestimating or underestimating myself. If I get through these really quickly, I'll obviously make more, but I don't think I will. <laughs> so we'll see. And again, how this is gonna work is I'm gonna set a 24 hour timer on my phone. And then every time I sit down to make a bracelet, I'm gonna press start. Every time I stop, I'm gonna press pause. And hopefully I'll get all of these 24 hours done within the weekend. It's currently the evening of the Friday. So let's get this started. Ah, I'm so excited.
All right, so it's 1 a.m. on the Friday and I just finished the first hour and a half of the 24 hour bracelet challenge. I've got 22 and a half hours left to go. And during that time, I was filming this bracelet for a knot with me. So I managed to get about half of it done. This is what that looks like. I got three flowers done. That is right around seven centimeters and that's like in the middle of the fourth one. So I think I'm gonna have to do seven of these flowers to get a full bracelet because my bracelets are typically between 14 and 15 centimeters in length. And so far, I'm loving how this is turning out. I actually really enjoy filming Not With Me's because I love looking back on the bracelets and seeing the time lapse myself. Also, when I was making the triangle end, I made the triangle end and then I flipped it so that the knots for the triangle end are on the back. So it gives a nice clean start as well. So yeah, that's what I got done in the first one and a half hours. I'm gonna go off to bed now. I'm gonna edit this video first because I like to edit my videos as I'm filming them, just to get the kind of vibe of how the video is going. And then off to sleep and I'm gonna be knotting all day tomorrow. I've got no other plans, just knotting. So I'll see you then. Good morning. Something that I didn't give enough thought to is the fact that I am sleepy on weekends and I slept in today quite significantly. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking I'm gonna continue this bracelet. It's probably gonna take me about an hour and a half to two hours to actually finish, and then I can move on to something else. So let's get started. All right, that took about an hour and 45 minutes. We've got 20 hours and 46 minutes on the clock and this bracelet is now complete. I think it turned out really cute. I really like this bracelet. It's very summery. It's got this nice vibe and I think it turned out really nice. Also, I love the twisted ties. Whenever there's like a lot of the background color, I try to make one of the sort of segments of the tie to be just that solid color and then the other thing be the rest of them. And I love how it turned out here. And I filmed the entire thing for a knot with me. So I'm very excited to see the time lapse when I go into editing. There are little dips in the bracelet here and there, despite me doing the straight edge technique, which I find kind of annoying and I couldn't really prevent because like just the knot structure, there are some knots that are going like forward knots on the sides and then it switches and it does backward knots and that ends up pulling on the sides a little bit so it's not as straight on the edges as I would want it to be especially like here wow but I still I still like it nonetheless I think it's a really cute bracelet I'm gonna go take a break and make myself some food and then after that I'm gonna resume making bracelets except this time I'm not filming a knot with me there is one bracelet still the big one to film for a knot with me but I'm gonna take a break because my god it is hot under these lights and I just need to knot in peace so I'll see you soon It's two and a half hours later, there's 18 hours and 16 minutes left on the clock, and this bracelet is now complete. I always think that bracelets look really funny when the strings are still attached. They just look kind of weird. I don't know, I haven't cut the strings off yet. I'm surprised this bracelet took me two and a half hours to finish. Like this is pretty much just a chevron, there's nothing difficult about it. Why did this one take me nearly the same amount of time that the previous one did? That's pretty crazy. But it turned out really cute, I really like it. And it's on to the next one, I'm not taking any breaks in between. Next up I'm gonna work on this bracelet. I spent the past two and a half hours knotting on this pillow, and my husband and I were watching some anime on the TV. But he's now left, he's got some errands to run, so I'm just gonna listen to an audiobook. I still haven't finished Malibu Rising, I've got like an hour left of that, so I think I'm gonna finish that book while I'm making this bracelet. Let's get to it. So it's pretty much been exactly two hours since my last check-in and I finished the bracelet. 16 hours left on the clock and a third bracelet has been completed. I am actually surprised. I have terrible time perception, absolutely horrific time perception. I struggle a lot with telling you like how much time a task will take me. And I also struggle with understanding what time of day it is. Like I'll get the time of day right, but I'll probably be off by like plus or minus three hours. It's that bad. So. Yeah, maybe five bracelets wasn't enough if I finished three of them and I've still got 16 hours left to go. Anyway, 
this bracelet was actually really fun and super easy. I also finished Malibu Rising, which I really enjoyed. I'm now listening to the audiobook for Throne of Glass, which I tried already a few years ago and I didn't like it, but I'm giving it another shot because it's the only audiobook I have access to at the moment. Anyway, I haven't actually made the ties for this bracelet yet, and I regret making the ties for the chevron because I remember that I actually wanted to film that for the tutorial. So now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for the chevron tutorial, but for this one, I'm gonna film how to do the like half triangle end and then also do the ties for the top. But the bracelet itself is complete and it looks cute. So I've still got this bracelet which is the rainbow bracelet which I also did a tutorial on and I've got the other bracelet which is the big one that I wanted to do the knot with me with. I think I'm gonna start with this one for now and then I'm gonna do that one. And the reason for that is actually kind of stupid because I want to do that one first but the room that I'm currently in is the only room in this entire flat that has air conditioning and it's really hot so I'm enjoying sitting here and this is the only desk that is in this room and this is my husband's desk so he's usually here but he's not here right now so I'm able to make bracelets while attaching them to his desk. So I want to take advantage of the AC while he's not here. He's running some errands, as I said. So I'm gonna do this one first and then I'm gonna move on to that one. Plus that one I'm filming for a knot with me. All right, 16 hours left to go. It's now 9 p.m. on the Saturday. I think I'm gonna crack at it for a while. Probably gonna go into the early hours of the morning. We'll see how much I get done today. Probably gonna have to start some new bracelets later on, but that's a separate conversation and we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I just realized I made a mistake and the mistake is all the way here. I got these two strings mixed up like they should be in a different order for the gradient and now I have to undo all of this, all of this until I get here. And most of these are backward forward knots which are really annoying to undo. Ah! <laughs> And now I've got a cute curly string to work with. All right, it's been two and a half hours and this bracelet is now complete. I had to take quite a long break to run some errands, so it is much later than I would have hoped and I'm going to be going to sleep after this. So I've got 13 and a half hours left to do tomorrow. Probably gonna have to stay up quite late to get that done, but hopefully that does get done. So yeah, this bracelet is now finished. I did do the triangle end for the bottom as well and I filmed that for the tutorial. And also I finished the one from this bracelet that I had to film for a tutorial and film that as well. I actually really like how this one turned out. I think it's super, super cool. This might be a new favorite pattern of mine and I wanna make the bigger version of it, but I need to get more colors because I don't have enough to make a full gradient. I love it. And, and I'm so glad that it's two steps because that makes it so much more beginner friendly. And I'm very happy that I filmed the tutorial for it. I love this pattern. So four bracelets are down. I've got one more pre-prepped one to go, but that one's quite big. I doubt that it will take me 13 hours to do. It's probably gonna take me much less, which means that I'm probably gonna start another bracelet in this video. And I have no idea, I have no patterns picked out, so this is gonna be fun. But yeah, these are the four bracelets that I managed to do within the first 10 and a half hours. I'll see you tomorrow. This bracelet is now finished and look how pretty it is. Oh my God. This is definitely a new favorite of mine. I am obsessed with this bracelet and I had so much fun making it. This is a fairly repetitive pattern and typically I get bored of repetitive patterns, but this one did not bore me for a second. I had a blast the entire time through and it took me roughly six hours. I'm not sure how to feel about that. That's either a lot or not a lot and I'm not sure, but I love it. I am genuinely obsessed with this pattern now. It is so cool and I love the color here as well. 
As I said, I was listening to the Throne of Glass audiobook the entire time. I think I'm about halfway through that, maybe even a little bit more, and I'm actually enjoying it. So that concludes the five bracelets that I set out to do for this challenge. I honestly didn't think that I would do all of these bracelets in 24 hours. I really didn't know what to expect, and I severely underestimated myself because I still have seven hours and 37 minutes. So I'm gonna start another bracelet, and these are the colors that I picked out for that one. I'm gonna go with this bracelet, so I'm gonna cut the strings for it now and potentially film a tutorial for it as well. We'll see if I have the energy for that. But this is the bracelet that I'm making next. So I've made a decent start on the pattern and this is pretty much the repeating pattern. So I filmed this entire portion for the tutorial. It took me nearly two hours to do, but that's probably because I was filming it for a tutorial. But this is turning out so cute, I love it. I've still got five hours and 46 minutes and this is probably not gonna take me that long. So let's finish this one first and then I'll think about what other bracelet I wanna create. The bracelet is finished! And I am also absolutely in love with it. I love how this turned out. I chose an amazing selection of patterns for this challenge. I am extremely happy with how this turned out and I'm so happy I filmed it for a tutorial as well because this is such a cool summary bracelet. It's gonna take me forever to edit because the tutorial itself I think is an hour and a half. So I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> but it turned out so cool. I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I love separating sort of the background color from the actual colors within the bracelet for the twisted ties. And I love how these turned out as well. So I am very, very happy with this. It took me about three hours to do. Also, did I say I skipped a day? It's Monday now. It took me three and a half hours to do, and that was after that beginning part. So adding that, it was like five and a half hours, but the beginning took two hours because I was filming it. So it would have taken me less if I were just making it, but still. And also it would have taken me less than three and a half hours to finish had I not been exhausted because I stayed up pretty late last night, which is why the clip is from today, Monday after work, because I was, I was dead. I was completely dead, tired. I fell asleep. I had a rough day at work today because I was tired, but yeah, it's Monday. So I'm finishing this clip now. I've got two hours left to do. It's, it's about 10 PM currently. So I should be finished around 12, except the problem is I have no idea what to do for the last two hours. I've already made six bracelets. I don't have any other patterns planned. I'm gonna have a look through my to-dos, pick out a smaller pattern potentially, and maybe start that. We'll see how it goes. Also, I'm still listening to the Throne of Glass audiobook and I'm nearly finished. I think I've got like an hour or two left, so maybe I'll be done with this challenge. Let's pick out a pattern. I decided to go with this pattern. I don't think I'm gonna get this done in two hours. Like with all the cutting of the strings and then making it the other bracelets I pre-prepped and I already made the starts, but I'm gonna do as much as I can and we'll see how it goes. These are the colors that I picked out for it. And I'm gonna start it now. I am patiently waiting for this timer to run out. Three, two, one. Beautiful. I'm finished, my God. I wasn't able to finish this bracelet in time, but I did do a decent chunk of it. There's probably one more repetition of the pattern left before I finish it. It's at 12 centimeters. So I'm gonna do either two more centimeters or one more repetition of the pattern, which will probably put it at like 15 and a half-ish centimeters. I am incredibly, incredibly pleased with how this challenge turned out. One, two, three, four, five, and this one's a big one, six and like three quarters of a bracelet done. That's nearly seven bracelets that I was able to finish in a 24 hour period. And as I said, this one was massive. So I am incredibly 
pleased with myself. When I went into this challenge, I did not expect this result whatsoever. I also took some time while I was making one of these bracelets and I rewatched my previous 24 hour challenge and that went terribly. So this makes me very happy. Ah, oh, what a challenge. I had a blast filming this video. And I kept thinking about why this challenge went so much better than the previous one. And I think I have some ideas. First of all, I didn't actually prep the bracelets for the first challenge. I only prepped the strings. And as we all know, actually making the starts of the bracelet is the, probably the most time consuming part of it. And it's also the part that I dislike the most. I really don't like starting bracelets. It takes ages, you make mistakes. I constantly do. And it's just a hassle. So I didn't have to do that this time that wasn't included as part of the video. Also, these bracelets were pre-started. I mean, some of them granted were like two rows, so that doesn't really count. But for this one, I did a good chunk. I was also timing the video differently. That video was such a mess and the original concept of it kept changing throughout the video. It evolved from let's see how many braces I can do within the same 24 hour period into let's see how much I can knot within 24 hours on a timer, but without like forcing myself. So I did take breaks within that period. I had food, I chilled for a bit, I edited a video in one of the clips, and obviously that all detracted from it. Whereas in this one, I specifically only timed the bits where I was actually knotting from start to finish. And I paused it quite a lot whenever I took any kind of break. So it was a much more accurate measurement of how much I could knot within 24 hours. Also, I was just very stressed. I filmed that video when I should have been writing my dissertation. I, mm, that video, Genuinely, probably the entire reason that video exists was because I was procrastinating on a next level. That video was filmed so close to my dissertation deadline that you would not believe. So I was very stressed. That's just not a good mindset to not, I guess. See, I was just thinking about that because as I said, I did rewatch that video and I noticed just how much of a difference it was. I only finished like one or two braces, I believe, in that video, so. Definitely an upgrade. And just seeing my improvement is making me that much more happier with the result of this video. So yeah, that was an absolute blast. In fact, I had so much fun that I'm kind of considering doing another video where I do it with alphas. So like a 24 hour bracelet challenge, but alpha edition. I even picked out some patterns that I could potentially do, but I have no idea if I can do that or when I can do that because very time consuming. But let me know if that is something that you might be interested in because I might do it. We'll see. But yeah, just as a reminder, I have a book coming out. The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets is out on August 23rd in the US and about a month later everywhere else. You can pre-order it now. And if you do, make sure to send a screenshot of your order confirmation to my publisher at rockynock.com slash friendship. I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. Thank you so, so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. If you also want to become a patron and support the work that I do on this channel, the link to that is in the description. But in any case, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I definitely did. I'm so happy and so proud of this. My God. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.